Okay then, so here we are for our um, third tutorial and this one we're going to go into slightly more difficult stuff which will be multi-level pointers. Now, uh, I'm going to try and make this as straightforward as possible because I remember when I started out I had a lot of trouble with this and I mean still recently if I, if I stop hacking for quite a while, let's say a couple of months, I come back and I'm like, well, how do pointers work? So I then have to go th back over my work again to get a hang over it. Um, but um, it, it should be quite, hopefully I'll try and make this as straightforward as possible. So. If you're here out of nowhere, we're on our third tutorial, and if you're interested in learning Cheat Engine, I recommend you go back to the first tutorial. Uh, you should have a playlist in the description where you can see all the, the list of tutorials. There should be about seven of them, uh, maybe more if I decide to add more in the end. Um, I don't know yet. Um, so what we're going to do is going to start a new game again. Um, so do that. And I'm using Plants vs. Zombies for this, but you can use any game uh, as usual. Point is applied to any game. There's absolutely no doubt about that. If you're playing certain games that are slightly old, uh, you won't have pointers, which is a good thing. It saves you some work. If you're playing games like Modern Warfare, anything that runs the Call of Duty engine, they don't seem to use pointers as well. I don't know why, uh, but that's always a good thing for us. Uh, so I'm going to restart this level just so I don't have much work. And let me just choose some plants here. Remember, once again, I'm using this game because it's a simple game um, for me to explain it to. Uh, I could be using any other game, it doesn't really matter. The methods I'll show you here are, can be applied to any game. Just want to enforce that. Uh, just choosing a bunch of crap here. Uh, yeah, let's rock. Okay, so uh, just going to click here first thing. So, what we what we need first thing is an initial value so if you follow the first tutorial you realize that when we closed our game and restarted it our, our sun value was um, was reset so we can no longer freeze it so as you can see here still that's the same address I initially took and uh, it's a zero now where it should be a 50 why because it was a dynamic value we need to find the static pointer which is the one that doesn't change okay um, Hopefully this will make a bit more sense by the end of the tutorial. If not, feel free to rewatch this. Hopefully I'll make make some sense when I'm doing this. So first thing we're going to f uh, look for is uh, our sun uh, level. Now this can be with anything. I chose sun because it's um, straightforward for us to find, and I want to focus more on the actual pointers than the um, tutorial um, than defining itself. Okay, so we've got it zero. Uh, let's just uh, get some sun. There you go, and here we are, twenty five. having a scan here taking a little bit of time come on come on come on come on she engine such a fail sometimes I can't pick up any Sun now because it should be scanning for it oh wait a second wait a second wait a second it's just going through the good old results because we got 103 million results that's why it's a bit a bit slow. Here we go, sat, scanning through them. So we know that's a 25 now, so let it scan all the way. Um, and uh, there you go. So the beauty of this method is, or at least one of the good things about it, is you can use it in a lot of games, but some of those games uh, have 20, 30 level pointers, then I recommend you use the next method. But I always recommend you start with this method and then move your way up and then if you're having trouble with it still you can always use the next method we'll go over which is uh, an automatic method which can be a lot easier for you so we've now got 25 so let, let me get my sun up again and there you go what's a 50 let's look for 50 and there it is so this is most likely our sun so let's move that up to 111 and there we go that's definitely our sun so 1000 I'm going to move this up to and first thing you want to do when looking for pointers now if you followed my how to hack any game tutorial you should have the basis of this you should kind of know what to do here because I, I said it there and uh, but I'm just I just wanted to be really focused on it here again so what we do is we say find out what access is this address so how do we know this is a dynamic address we know that this is going to change because this variable um, cheat engine shows you green here when they are not down when they're static so uh, if this was green here we know this is a static address and when we restart the game it'll be green again but what we'll do here is we're going to go find out what access is this address and it says are you sure you want to touch the debugger you say yes and then you go here you got a couple of things coming up here so I like to usually bring this down a little bit 
and increase the size of that. So what you do first thing is you pick up some sun, and there you go, pick up a bit more sun and spend some, just to see a couple of things. So um, the thing that I like to do here, the thing that I prefer to do, although it doesn't really matter, you can use it with the add, or you can use it with the um, move, which is when it subtracts the sun when you're buying something. I'll choose with the ad first and see how that goes. Um, so I recommend you open notepad here. I've got some information from earlier, but don't worry about that. Just open a notepad so you can write some stuff down. And I'm going to write, I prefer to use caps uh, for when writing a hex. So offset is our first thing that we care about. So offset um, 5578. I hope my keys uh, bashing isn't too loud for you guys. So then we have 162. Um, D6778 okay now what it says here it says the value of the pointer needed to find this address is probably this number here 16.2 D6778 so what we use this for is um, to add the address manually so we'll close this close that now there's a chance we could have the wrong address here which means we'll have to go back but hopefully we haven't so we scan for that number and we got a bunch of addresses now this does take some practice and some experience and a lot of trial and error. So it can get boring when you're doing this, but you just need to be patient and eventually you get it done. So at a first look, I assume that none of these are the right ones. As you can see at the beginning, all these keep changing. So I don't usually trust addresses like this because they're sneaky. What I like to go is for one that doesn't change. So go back in the game quickly and then go back here. So as you can see, these change as well. So go back a tiny bit more. Go for one that doesn't change. Go back here. As you can see, the one we've got chosen does not change and that seems fine to me so you got to keep looking at, at the numbers that change here go back so this one's it well it might not be it I'm just saying it's it because it seems to be but we'll try and we'll see how it goes so we're gonna go add address manually here and we click pointer because we know pointers are involved and then you can see the number right here this is the number we're gonna add now please I'm sorry if this seems uh, confusing at first but I promise you if you watch this a couple of times you will definitely understand it. I had absolutely no clue when I first saw someone do this. So 0170A, and it's like anything else, it's just practice um, practice as much as you can and you will get the hang of it. So five, uh, remember earlier we established our offset was 5578, and that's what we use here. So okay, that. as you can see, this is pointing to the right place, but, so we had to use the value that we found here with the offset we found earlier, okay? All right, so we searched for it, and we found it, and so far it's this one. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the right address, but we're going to find out and confirm that in a second. Um, so, uh, we have everything here. Now, let's just confirm that this is the right one, so let's move this to 995. I like to confirm these things, although most of the time it's not necessary, or 997, there you go, as you can see that. So, the next thing you want to do is you want to say, find out what access is this address. Now, this can get nasty here, because... Yeah, there you go. This is probably going to slow down my computer big time, but hopefully it won't. So, you've got all these numbers coming here. You want to ignore most of them, and you want to... So, I'm just going to be a bit laggy now. So, I'm going to get a bit of... Um, so, just going to get a bit of sun and watch the um, thingy increment right here. So, let it go. Let it happen. It's 997, as you can see. Boom. Very slow. Don't worry about the freezage. That's because Cheat Engine is really working hard to get our addresses going. So we have a bunch of things here. And from a first point of view, I believe I picked up only one sun, didn't I? Or did I pick up two? I'm pretty sure I only picked up one. Hmm, I'm kind of worried now. I'm gonna pick up another one just to confirm, come on. So let it go, 122 should be going up. It's 147, so let it just move up. There you go, that should be fine. There you go. So we've picked up two, which it hasn't, has it added it yet? Sorry, this is really slow, which sucks. Move, compare. So, uh, we have ourselves two of them, two, two calls. So, I'm going to increase this here for a second. Five, I've got two of them here. Um, two here, compare word. There should be a move, uh, a move at two, which is kind of confusing. For some reason, it looks like it only registered one pickup, but don't worry about that for now. So we'll just go here. We say move. We click that. Usually, what you're looking for when it's decreasing something is move or deck or that sort of thing or sub sub, which is subtract as well. 
and this is assembly language in case you didn't know that you don't have to be an expert at this I'm not I know a bit about it but I don't need to know too much so what we're gonna have to start right now is gonna write 868 eight, which is our offset okay so feel free to write that off oops offset um, 868 eight, which I'm happy with and it turns out if any of these results don't work we go back and we find we use another one so if this didn't work we can go back and use any of these as well but don't use any of these big numbers because there's a high chance they've got nothing to do with the actual um, with the actual address we're looking for so then we got this address here which is what we're going to write down 01709 um, 01709 F68 remember you're using your own numbers do not use mine F68 so do that one um, so I'm going to close both of these just because it's taken a lot, a lot of memory so I'm going to scan for this number now and now there's a chance that nothing will come up but something has come up which is always good so as you can see here I have 1616 results which is a bunch of BS so what I first do whenever this happens is as usual I ignore the numbers that keep changing I ignore those straight away and the next thing I always look for is for green addresses if you can find green addresses then you're likely to have found one of your possible static uh, base addresses and that's what we're going to try here so you remember that pointer we created earlier double click on it and we're going to go add pointer okay and we're going to go you see this number here so we're going to go put that number in so remember the first offset was 5578 so we move that up there and the second offset was 868 so we've got that there and then we're going to go Remember, we always use the number on the left here. So seven two um, nine six uh, seven zero is my number. I OK that, and guess what? The number is perfectly on what we want, and we're using a base address for it. Now, the thing about base addresses is, is there isn't an exact science for them because technically you can actually cheat when you're finding these but it can be really tricky when you're doing that and the game can screw you over so it's, I recommend you don't do it but you can technically especially when it's only one level pointer like this one actually this is two level but when you're de dealing with five six seven levels then um, you definitely should use this method or the pointer scan method which will go over next so as you can see we've got this now let's just try and modify this just to confirm it's what we want now as you can see here this is our static one um, and uh, this is our uh, sorry this is our dynamic one which is the first one we found and this is our static now in theory if we close the game and restart it this should no longer work and this should hopefully so let's just close the game I'm now gonna run it again so we're gonna run this again and that's the beauty of static addresses if you want to write your own trainers programmer and so on you can't use dynamic addresses because they're always changing there's no way of you knowing what is what and that's why we need static addresses because they're um, consistent and if, if you're interested in any of the programming part of things and you haven't followed my previous tutorials then I've got my how to hack any game tutorial which would be perfect for you if you haven't done that before so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hook this into the game plants vs zombie yes so as you can see the beauty of this look our dynamic address has some stupid value because the game's been restarted all variables have been reassigned but our number here has been the same so if I will continue and just to confirm this look at that beautiful we've got a static address it doesn't change you can restart the game as many times as you want and our address is going to be the same and that's the beauty of static and remember you always look for the green address so if your game's giving you green addresses first thing you you should be happy because you've got your static straight away you restart the game they'll be the same so that's what you're looking for and that is it for manually finding um, pointers I hope uh, I have covered it nicely and um, I'll see you on hopefully a pointer scan tutorial which is something I've been requested a lot and I'm looking forward to doing so I'll see you on that one.